Here we've got some um, GCSE biology practice questions to help you practice and put into practice your knowledge of transport systems. Okay, so our first question is, name three types of blood vessel that form the transport system in the human body. So if we underline the key words there, so we know that we need three types of blood vessel form the transport system in the human body. Okay, and here are the answers, so veins, arteries and capillaries. And then part B, for each of the vessels you've listed, explain one way that they're adapted for their function of transporting blood in the body. So our command word there is explain. We know that we need an explanation. Okay, so there's several answers that you could have for each of these. So for an artery, we've got thick outer wall or a thick layer of elastic tissue and, mus and muscle or a small lumen. And they're all to help the artery withstand transporting blood at high pressure as it leaves the heart. For a vein, we could talk about the thin outer wall or the thin layer of elastic tissue and muscle or the large lumen for transporting blood at low pressures. Equally, we could also talk about the valves that are present in veins to prevent backflow of blood. And then finally, for capillaries, you can talk about their thin walls for a short diffusion pathway or, or absorption distance, or you can talk about their small size for getting close to organs such as lungs or the small intestine. Part two, blood is made up of plasma, platelets, red blood cells and white blood cells. Part A, give two ways that red blood cells, two ways, that red blood cells are adapted to their function of transporting oxygen from the lungs to cells around the body. Okay, so we need to list two, but I've listed all four here and you need to pick two of those. So a biconcave shape for maximum surface area for binding oxygen. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin for binding that oxygen. They have no nucleus, so there's more room for hemoglobin within the cell. And they are small in size to allow them to travel through capillaries. There's a good diagram there for remembering that. And finally, name two types of white blood cell and their role in the immune system. Okay, so we know that there's two different types of blood cells that of white blood cells that are carried in the blood. Number one is phagocytes. Their function is to engulf and destroy pathogens. And number two, lymphocytes. They produce antibodies to mark pathogens for other parts of the immune system to deal with. Here we've got a good diagram demonstrating how those white blood cells perform those functions. You can test your knowledge more by finding worksheets on the MyTutor school um, that give you some more questions to practice on this topic. Good luck!